Lovely, alarm went off. It is 1 p.m. You know what time it is. It's knitting time. <laughs> um, welcome if you're new. Um, welcome back if you're not new. My name's Tiffany, if you didn't know that. Um, we do knitting streams here on YouTube, 1 p.m. PST, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Today's Thursday, hope everyone having a lovely Thursday. You're only allowed to have lovely, lovely time. Only during this time period. So um, let me know what you guys are making, if you're making anything along with me, or if you're just chilling at home or going to work or honestly anything, let me know so we can chill together. Um, but you can also, um, put it on the stream chat. So if you want to join our discord, you can include it in there and show pictures and we go through it during the middle of the stream and it's always like a lovely time. Um, today, okay, I have decided that Thursdays are going to be my YOLO series. We're bringing it back guys. We're bringing her back. Um, she deserves to be back because the YOLO clava was so fun. I haven't finished it on brand, on brand for me. Um, but Hopefully I can, maybe slowly, maybe on and off on these Thursdays, but Thursdays will be dedicated to um, anything YOLO and then um, I'll be putting all of the patterns available um, on the Patreon so you can join for free and it'll be available there. Uh, if you knit it along with us during the Cal, uh, the knit along. And then once we finish it, then I'll put it on the shop kind of thing. So we'll do kind of that vibe, I think. Um, I've, I was looking on Pinterest and I have gotten really excited. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start planning or kind of like maybe order what things I'm like looking forward to doing, um, and then doing them cause we're going to be doing things. Um, and they're going to be really easy patterns, really simple patterns. So we can like always pump them out and always kind of have something new for the cows. And I just want to promote, you know, using up something from your stash. Like not like, I've been seeing a lot of people are saying like shop your stash and that's not even just with knitting supplies, but also just like shop your stash, like makeup wise or shop your stash clothing wise. And I love that. So, um, yeah, if that helps, if this, if this like kind of series helps and yay, that's all I want. So, um, we'll do, I'll like go through my Pinterest, show you guys what I've been looking at. We're gonna write down a bunch of ideas and then I'm gonna poll and see what everyone is into to do first. And then kind of have a list of like 10 things and then we work through those. So I'm loving that idea that I just came up with five minutes ago. Um, Velma, hi, Maya, hi, how are you? I'm working on some color work. Knee high socks for myself, lovely. Dude, I love that you tell us every time. I love the updates, love that. It's like this cute little pink pink moment and we love that um ellie i think jen brady hello lavisa hello ashley mac um cq hi alia bailey yay so excited to make it to the stream today thank you for coming i'm on theme crocheting as a, a, a yolo scrap beanie love red calico hi snowflake valley hello um you yolo woo, everyone woo, woo. Um, hi from Seattle. Won't be knitting during the stream because my baby's teething and just need lots of snuggles. That is a-okay. Snuggle up your bae. B, literally. Um, OMG hello, can I get the stream to vote on two projects? I'm torn between knitting. Yeah, we can do that first before we, um, get her going, I guess. Um, Zoe, hi. Hi, when is the vest pattern coming out? Oh my gosh, so the vest pattern, if you guys know, the typical vest, vest pattern is coming out tomorrow crazy um i don't know i just think it's crazy because i'm like not really good at anything so i just thought to let you guys know for everyone else who just follows my instagram uh it'll be a surprise so that's gonna be hilarious um but yeah it's coming out i'll be putting it on the ravelry and uh my website so woo -woo! fun times here on here on the I keep saying that here on the Tiffany and Lube YouTube channel. That's so dumb. No, um, I guess here for typical bliss. I just got home from the gym, so we'll be showering with this in the background for a bit. That's cool. I'm into that. <laughs> uh, Tony, hi all. And I'll be working or I'll um, work on the cows during the Thursdays. So I'll de be dedicating this time if I ever like run out of time. So I'm into it. After 84 years, <laughs> I love, I love the attack and, um, 
honestly, yeah, it's been a really long time. I think I knit that sweater. No, I knit that vest like such a long time ago. So I'm honestly really sorry. So we're trying to get better. I think it's because I have just dedicated a lot of time to yarn dyeing. And I love that. I love that for me. She was so fun. But um, I think it kind of made me neglect. I neglected the pattern writing. So um, happy to kind of focus more on it because I just feel like there's so many patterns that are just like, like the typical dress has just been waiting forever. Um, hi, so working on the champagne cardi, love. Um, ooh, I'm so proud of you, thank you, Tar. Honestly, Tar, thank you so much. Um, this is gonna be so much fun, I love planning projects, yay, okay. Knitting a swatch, love. Oh, it was a Titanic reference, oh God. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I'm so sorry. Uh, hi, I'm going to be doing some chores while listening today. Just vacuumed. Just finished vacuuming. And now I'm onto garbages. Love, love the product. I was going to say product productivity of it. But I really shouldn't be. I don't want to promote that. It's like not what I want to promote. Because that's silly. It's like, you know what? Go you on that self-care. Because cleaning, chores, self-care. Um, on the bus home from a cycling class. So I'm... So glad I have the streamers company. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I have never thought to watch live streams while on transport, but that also makes a lot of sense. Um, will I be sending out a new test? Yeah, I 100% have to send out a new test form for the typical dress because I don't even, I didn't even remember that I sent it one that long ago. That's hilarious. I'm so sorry, everybody who applied. Um, Hi, I'm finishing my first sweater, cloud sweater. So exciting. Oh my gosh, lovely. Love that one. Um, hey, hey, been a while since I've caught a live. Watched the previous streams back and it was hilarious. Thank you. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Uh, love taking care of your space. Love that so much more. Hi, working on a sock today, having so much fun. Might become a sock knitter now. Same. So I totally feel that. I make sure I don't finish this. This is not happening, but I can't. <laughs> um because we were talking about how I wanted to start a new sock and then I got a little excited. So we're not going to do it, but I got a little excited. Um, this is just some uh, Filcolana Arweta that I had twist, uh, that I put into a cake and I want to make a lace sock. This is just a treat, my, treat for myself for finishing the Linea sock, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it yet. But I was just envisioning a beautiful lace sock pattern in my collection and we got a little ahead of ourselves. Okay. Have a snack, then gonna work on a vest, I think. Nice. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, thanks for squeezing me into the agenda. <laughs> Torn between a brown champagne card again. Have all the yarn. And a vest number one modified with the cherry intarsia. I can get the yarn today if we decide. Oh. Okay, well then, I, I feel like I don't even, even need to vote for that. You should 100% do the champagne card again. One, because you have the yarn already. And that's it that is it that you should definitely just work on what you have <laughs> um hi i treated myself to some sunness i'm knitting a cobalt blue vest oh i've also casted on a typical slipover with the blue fiber um cobalt like yarn that i got with some did i show it in a video i don't even remember i'm so sorry i think forget everything after like a day um and it's so beautiful it has like a little bit of cashmere in it wait i still have the okay also someone is hammering something you know i'm streaming i'm so sorry if you can hear that um 80 percent superwash merino 20 percent cashmere blue fiber company uh and that's so soft i want to do it but we're not going to do that so we're just gonna we're gonna hold back because there's just so many other things i need to be working on um, hi, not knitting, just doing calculus homework I've been putting off doing. Totally understandable. You have been knitting too much. You are so ahead for the test knit for the Trezo. I can't believe it. Like, she's finished both arms and the body. So, yes, do your homework, girl. Uh, don't normally watch streams in public, but I wasn't going to let my plans interrupt joining. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't get, I feel like streams didn't get super popular until after i was in school so um i just listened to podcasts but those were fun too because i would like laugh and cry on the bus and people 100 percent noticed okay so i'm going to screen share 
Um, I'm going to show you kind of the things that I... Ha lol, I have one. I have one uh, post. Okay, so we're going to go in the YOLO section. I'm just going to show you what I pinned. And I guess we can also look at potentially Scrap Heaven if we're feeling it. Um, but we're going to do this. Um... Sorry, can you hear that banging? What is happening? I'm gonna, I have to message my family. This is not okay. Um, Cause I'm getting a, a teensy bit distracted and that's not okay. Um, give me a moment. What's happening? Who is hitting something repeatedly? Can they stop? I'm streaming. Okay, sorry. Can't hear any banging. Okay, then it's me, and that's fine because I am distracted. Um, tragically started my day with a sweet little job rejection for a position. I'm excited, so I'm playing this in the background while doing some more apps. Oh, I pray that you found a job that's honestly sucks so much. Um, I, dude. I believe in you. If if this if this stream allows you to get more of those out, then we love that. Um, how long is the true a test period? I'm not in any rush, but I think I want to make it at some point. Um, oh wait, like so I'm assuming you're like it's like after the test period. That it's it's supposed to be two months. I think that's the time we gave. So like really chill. Um, so. If, so if you're looking for it sooner, I'll just have to see where everyone is at. I have been seeing a lot of people's posting like their knits and it looks nice. But again, um, just want to be mindful of some of the, uh, some of, um, the bigger sizes, just cause I know like it takes time for people to get the yarn first of all. And then it also takes people to knit. So just want to be mindful. Um, and yeah, like, it, it'll probably come out soon, but it'll be summertime anyway. But if you look, oh, I got to get myself a lilac dress or something because it would look so good with mine. Um, my cat sat on me because I have all attention on the stream and now he's staring at me. Oh, also not to be the hype girl again, but I've noticed a really big positive change in the language you've been using around productivity. Oh, and how you talked about yourself last month. I think it's amazing. Dude, oh my gosh. Um, I think Tar said something about that too. I, I think I just... Before I was getting really on myself about certain things and again, I think, yeah, maybe mindset change, just thinking a bit more like small wins. We're just happy to do stuff. I'm happy to be here. And if I don't get something done, it's not the end of the world. Um, but dude, that's crazy that you noticed. Um, because I haven't really noticed. Um, Anna, hi. Uh, you should do a yellow felted bag. Okay. It's, it's on, it's on the Pinterest board. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, I've been, I've been just responding in the chat. What is the Truzo test thing? It is, um, my Truzo cardigan. I'm having it test knitted currently. So people are, it's in testing. So people are testing the different sizes right now, just to make sure that the fit is good. And then after that, I will release the pattern because that's how it goes. Um, I'm working on a Wanaka sweater. Wanaka. Wanaka. I'm so sorry. For my sister, love. Um, um, my pins are all drawing references, love. Random question, has anyone used Drop Spell as a summer knit? I've heard that it's good and I want to use it. Okay, so everyone, feel free. We're just going to look at this. We're just going to look at this and we're just going to enjoy. So I'm thinking small accessories. I'm thinking like bags. I really want to make a scrunchie. You'll see. I just pinned it. Um... I don't know, this would be kind of cute, like a little scrappy bag. I've also seen like lots of little keychains I'm really into. Brie on the Patreon said she wanted to like a little fanny pack. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many cool little fanny packs. Sorry, excuse me. This is the felted bag I was talking about. I don't know why, it just caught my eye. I don't know how I'm gonna get all these charms, but wouldn't that be crazy if I used all of my stitch marker charms and just put them on this bag? I mean, I'm not gonna do it because I, I don't know if I'd ever wear something like that, but it just seems so cool. Um, 
or we do like a little top I just want stuff that's small and easy so we can always kind of like do it over and over again um, my Pinterest is just typical bliss I'm pretty sure um, I do have a personal one but that's my personal one it's a little too personal in my opinion um, or like I love like maybe like this type of fanny pack but also like a handheld I love that it incorporates like a metal finishing to it but I also like these bum bags I don't know if that's what it's called they're like bum bags I like the scrap of it all we can add a tag I like this is like the tube top I was envisioning it, but uh, but this girl 100%, she just knitted it on like a circular knitting machine, so we're not doing that. Or like even like a long tube dress. I'm just thinking like long term how I can do this and how I can make it like um, easy to kind of make. <clears throat> Sorry. And then I was like, oh my gosh, look at this Ghani like crochet bikini. Wouldn't that be freaking cool? It's like a scrap thing. Um, another tube top, but again, this is a little too holy. I'm not wearing that. That's like a no, not happening. Um, or like we do one with straps. Um, I was looking at Miu Miu because Miu Miu is like my inspiration, but just lots of like, like, oh my gosh, can we make this bag? Can someone vote? Can someone please vote for this bag? Um, cause I want to make it really, really bad. Um, or we do like a hat, a scrappy little hat would be so good. Um, but I've also been eyeing like little scrunchies, little like headbands, kind of like this thing. I need this thing. So I, I think this would be really easy to make like really quickly as well. So like you guys, Thursdays are gonna be like such a fun time and I'm so here for it. Again, a bolero I think would actually be kind of cute. Not crochet though, but a scrappy one would be everything. Um, and then I also like this one. I'm pretty sure it's just a really thin kind of scrappy little tube. But then you kind of like braid it into your hair and I really want that. Um, okay, uh, this, this board, it's my board. I just put a board for just like scrappy ideas because I want to do a YOLO series. Um, if you did not hear me before, you can rewind a little bit. I just, I, I hope I explained it well um but just for the thursdays um okay oh i've actually started a new pair of color work knee high socks they are yellow since it's endometriosis awareness month this month oh that's awesome hi have you seen peachy den's new spring collection knit set it's so cute i low-key want to try to recreate it i have not seen it can you put a picture on it on the discord thank you um I've kind of been obsessed with those little crop top cardigan things with the little button at the collar lately. Crop top cardigan. Don't know which one that one is. Or we could do like a scrappy little hat, but like a chonk one would be everything. Um, scrappy bag, yeah. And now my cat is a loaf on me. I had to lay down. Also, he's 11 in cat years. He's pretty heavy and kind of small. Make the bag. I vote for the bag. <laughs> Um, mittens maybe in the future, but also I was looking at like scarves. I want like a little scarf moment. Like look at how cute these are. Like it'd be so easy, just like so easy. We could just like do them, pump them out, um, because I want them and they're so freaking cute and I want to use up my stash. So this is like perfect and it's getting me excited. Um, I was also thinking maybe we could do like cardigans or sweaters, but like that's like really pushing it. I think those are quite big projects and I think I'm looking more for small stuff um, and then just like everybody was also loving the bandana idea so uh, we can do a bandana I'm not too sure how we're gonna do it so I also want kind of help um, I guess whether you guys want like stockinette or garter stitch or lace or crochet kind of vibe um, and then I saw this one and I thought it was quite interesting just imagining maybe like a white base and then the color work section could be your scraps so i think that would be so freaking fun um i think a light bolero is a great spring summer piece yeah so i'm thinking we're doing summer pieces first and then move the winter stuff for later um omg scr a scrunchie for mohair scraps oh my gosh yes so I'm feeling it. I think it's so easy and so simple and we can make some cute little projects together. So I'm going to write them down so I don't forget a mundo. Where am I going to write this down? Okay. I'm going to write this down here. 
Headband like that with color work scrap. OMG, yes. Dude, OMG. I love that you're all feeling me. Yes. Um, or like a scarf, like a Sophie scarf vibe. But scraps. We're thinking scraps. Only scraps, my dudes. Of course, you guys don't have to do scraps, but that's just like what I'm vibing for. Um, but even like just using up like a spare skein that you've like maybe used half of. That's like the vibe currently. Um, I think that sweaters are something that you do a lot. So I agree to keep it something small. Yeah. I forgot it's Thursday and stream day. And that reminds me of having to take out the pin. <laughs> Love bandanas, a headband like that. Oh, yes, okay. Crochet granny, uh, square bandana, really quick, simple projects, yes. What is the knitted chicken support trend that we see everywhere? What is that? I'm sorry, I totally don't know what that means at all. Um, okay. Lol, just ignore this. Just ignore all of that. I'm a little messy over here and that's okay. Okay, <clears throat> I have a scrappy Sophie scarf and it's my everything. Okay, yeah, like I want that. Guys, I want that. Um, I think the thing in the braid is cool. Okay, I would love a scrappy crunchy, scrunchy series. Nope, crunchy, wait, scrunchy. <laughs> series actually like a few different scrunchy designs. Extra large scrunchy, normal scrunchy, frilly scrunchy, crochet. Oh, dude, that's what I'm thinking, dude, literally. Like for this, since they're so easy, we can just like pump them. Ugh, I don't wanna say pump, cause that kind of promotes that we should be doing them quickly. But I mean, I would I would love to just like work on them and do them together with you guys and try out fun different things with a bunch of scrap stuff. So I totally agree with that. But again, those would have to be like different. It would be a series essentially, yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be so cool? Like you can get them each individually, but then you could get them all in a bundle. Oh, there's so many things we guys, guys, we can do so many things. Um, my knitting group is obsessed with those chickens. Not sure exactly what it is. Knitted chicken support. Like there's chickens that support you while you're knitting. Bundle them after they're done, dude, literally. Uh, we can do that for like, but I don't wanna do that with just scrunchies. I think like we can do a couple, maybe bandanas or like different hats or like maybe a couple bags. Cause there are a couple bags here that I saw that were kind of like really similar that you can kind of like bundle together. Um, I think it's just a chicken knit pattern. That's an emotional support chicken. Oh, you knit a chicken. I got you, I got you. Um, okay, sorry. I'm trying to figure out what to do or what to write. Okay, um, YOLO ideas. Okay, so I guess scrunchie is number one, scrunchie. Actually, I'm just gonna write a bunch of them and then we're going to Google it, emotional ch knitted chicken. Okay, link in the Discord. Uh, just don't wanna get too derailed because I can sense me doing that. Um, would love a scrappy scrunchie for sash busting. Is this like the knitted rat that went viral last year? Oh gosh. Coat yoga, oh my goodness, no. Okay, so, okay, so we're gonna scrunchie. We're doing, I'm gonna say bag. But that's pretty generic. There's so many bags that we saw that I'm really into. Um, we're gonna put bandana. I'm gonna also put, what else were we vibing? Hat. Thinking mini scarf, which means just like a thin tube. Um, maybe keychain stuff. So that will include that will include the sweater for the keys thing. Just bought elastics for knitting scrunchies too. Oh my gosh, of course. Uh, hi, Tiff. Started working at 6 a.m. this morning, so I'm off work early. I can finally watch your stream on time. It's been forever. How are you? Oh my gosh, thank you for coming. Um, I'm good. Dude, things are good. We're doing YOLO series. I'm into it. Um, and I'm feeling it. Okay, a light bolero. Okay, I, I will put bolero here, but that's ambitious. That'll just be like a little ambitious. Um, let me go back here so we can like vibe up our ideas. Vibe up our ideas. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, what? Is this a bandana? No, I would say color work. 
yeah, I'll just write color work scraps, which is lovely. Um, have you ever done amigurumi? A lot of those are really small and quick. I have done amigurumi. I just, there aren't any stuffies I want to make. So it's just like not in my atmosphere at the moment. Um, should I put a bikini or is that also kind of ambitious? Uh, oh, we write tube top just because I think it'll be really easy. And I also think I could make it really pretty. <laughs> um, mm, okay, yeah, so that was the vibe. Then this is what we have. Little pouch, oh, pouch, yes, I love that. Yes, yes, pouch. I'm gonna write pouch. Um, I think grooming is the only thing I do. Bikini ambitious. Okay, bikini ambitious, I agree. Um, sorry, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh, that's a perfect number. Um, bikini, you need to get grading perfect. So maybe not ideal for yellow for sure. Uh, I'm for sure not knitting a chicken, unfortunately. Um, so from here... Now I just want to rank them. So what do we want to do first, I guess? And then from there, maybe do like subsections. Like so like a fanny pack, a tote bag, a mini bag, or like the scrunchie. Like a big one, frilly, normal, whatever. Uh, I'd honestly let more designers come out with bikinis and learn from their failures before tackling. <laughs> okay, smart. For the pouch, you should do like a set of two, like a small, maybe a larger one. We can do all of those things. Those would all be super fun. Okay, so. Mm, bags and two tops, super weather pro pro. Oh, right, so we shouldn't, oh, I'm gonna write, oh, mittens? No, that's later. Okay, I'm gonna put, I guess they're all, I would say hat is probably 10, because I've come out with so many hats. Um, maybe a vest. I have so many scrappy vests saved in my Pinterest. I definitely want to do that. Okay, I'll write vest here. Just because we'll have her as an option. And maybe just like a normal top. Normal top. I'll just write tank. But these are kind of extra. I wouldn't say those are like in my atmosphere at the mall. At the Okay, so... I don't know how to pull this though is my issue. I think we'll do, I think the top, the top is tube, scrunchie, bag, bandana. We'll do those four and whatever uh, order those are in, I guess we'll see um, we'll just see what do you want to see? What do you want to make first? Okay. Or we do, or we do something super cutthroat. We do the first two, and then we do the second two. Like who kind of like hits each other out? But I don't think we're not gonna do that. Scrunchy. Number one bag. Option number three. Bandana. Option number th four. I'm just gonna put top, because that could be a tube or or cami. Yeah. Okay. That is my poll. And those will be the top four. Um, so then everything else is later. Keychain, mini scarf. Okay, mini scarf will be nine. Maybe bolero would be eight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. Bag 50. Who is, what is bag in contention with? Scrunchy two, bandana last. Ooh, bandana is 9%. Bag 51%. Tube top and scrunchy both 2020. Do you have any tips on how to loosen up a collar and a sweater after weaving all ends? Is to cast off. No, I'm sorry. It would be to frog back the cast off and just use a bigger needle. That is how I would do that. Um, I love the bag made of swatches. They were popular last fall. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, scrunchy got a little head of tube top. We got 20% scrunchy, 15% top, 
53, oh, 51% bag. It is changing so much. Bandana still fourth, which is fine. Um, hmm. Should we do scrunchie against tube top? Because bag is obviously number one and bandana is obviously four. So bag one, bandana four. I'll put keychain five and then I'll put, I'll put pouch six, color work seven. That's the feeling I'm getting. Off topic, but man, this flossing thing ain't it. <laughs> oh no, okay. Okay. Oh, scrunchie is, is getting ahead. It's scrunchies like 30. Tube top 20. So honestly, maybe we do. I'm good with doing that then. Scrunchie. Because I would love to do the scrunchie. I think that'd be so fun. Love. Okay. So now. What shall we do? This guy will be here. Okay. So if we're going to do a bag, the question is, is what? bag okay so do we do mini bag bum bag is that what you call them i really don't know Ugh, is that the two i was thinking of that's it wait tote mini bag bum bag fanny pack i feel like that oh I, i'll just i'll just pull that then I'm doing so many pulls just to see what we're vibing with what bag should we make so bum bag is just the one that like kind of goes around it's like a round handle at the top so mini bag then we got tote bag then i'm gonna do bum, bum bag kind of like this one or are we feeling something else um i will put fanny pack and then I guess fanny pack would be more i guess it's they're very similar so if anyone has a fourth bag we can think of a fourth different bag um i don't know or we say pouch make a bag okay yeah we'll do pouch we'll do pouch i'll say pouch so the pouch even though it says sixth it's it'll be fine a drawstring bag interesting the scrap dress. Oh, the scrap dress would be everything. I agree. Project bag. Well, I mean, project bags are just like little bags, aren't they? Um, not all project bags have to be like drawstring, if that's what you're talking about. Um, backpack. Oh gosh, there would be no way. You don't know the difference between all the bags. Hobo bag. Oh, bum bag is like a fanny pack. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess what I'm, if, if everyone's confused, I just mean, oops, wrong screen. I was literally on it. So like a mini bag, I guess I'm doing this based off more of the Mew Mew bags, but a mini bag would just be like a small bag like this, like one that kind of goes shoulder. It's like this small. And then like a tote bag, I would assume everyone kind of knows what a tote bag is. A big little one with like straps here. Um, a pouch would be just like a little makeup pouch. And then... The last one, what did we choose? Fanny pack, which is more something that's small, like maybe medium size that you put like on the side, you wrap around on the side kind of thing like that. Kind of more like this versus like a mini bag is more like shoulder mini bag, I guess, which is more like that. Does that make sense? Uh, there's this Japanese style bag called a knot bag, I think. Okay, okay. Knit version of the unique little cross bag. Yeah, just like that kind of vibe. Um, let's look at, oh my gosh, guys, dude, the poll is so close. That is hilarious. I don't even think there's a winner. I don't, I really don't. So we have pouch at 27, tied with tote bag, 27. Fanny pack is 25, mini bag, 21. That's crazy. Oh, tote, tote, getting a little ahead of itself. 31 repoll. Okay, but how do I repoll? 
I can't repull the same things. Do you know what I mean? Um, or we, or what I can do is like only pull two. I swear to goodness gracious, if you guys give me, okay. I don't know if the toad is really the clear number one winner. Sounds like any option would work. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write in here, we'll write, okay, where should I write this? Oh my gosh, I hate having to choose to do this. Okay, bag. Okay, we're gonna do, so there's tote. And then we got shoulder bag, I guess. Which just means the mini one. And then third one is a pouch. Just do whatever you want. You do already have a typical pouch. Maybe pull without the pouch. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll end the pull because that was just very unclear. I don't think any of us knew what was happening. Okay, let's do... Okay, we'll remove the pouch. We'll see what happens. Start pull. Uh, what bag should we make? Question mark. We do mini shoulder bag. Maybe that's a little bit more clear. Tote bag. And the third one, medium fanny pack slash crossbody. <laughs> Hope that is very clear. I mean, who knows? Like maybe I like will decide to do like a bucket bag or a, a drawstring. We'll see how I'm feeling um, with the design, I guess. Uh, this is a crossbody. <clears throat> but I feel like a bucket bag, I'm thinking I might do like a raffia bucket bag. Uh, and then a drawstring, I feel like can't really be a bag. It's more just like the project bags that like Petite Knit has kind of thing. Okay, still super close. 41% medium fanny pack, 33% tote bag, mini shoulder bag is at 26. Okay, all incredibly close, my dudes, which is hilarious. Um, but also thank you everyone for voting. That's, again... All I can say is hilarious. Um, how are we gonna do? Now the question is, is how are we gonna do this? Um, okay, tote and the mini bag is last. Uh, but tote and mini are kind of similar. So I'll just, I'll just say one, and then this guy could be two. Okay, we're oh, but it's so close. 32% for tote bag, 39% for medium fanny pack. You guys are hilarious. Um, okay, I think we'll end it though, just cause I can't imagine those numbers really changing too, too, too much. But thank you everyone for voting. Um, we are now, going to take a little bit of time now to look at some of those things. So I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna have to do so much research now. Cause like, I like this, this is cool, but I maybe don't love the triangle of it all. I think I'd want it to be more square. So I'm gonna need to find some inspo. A bag with different st strap length options. Definitely. We could do that. We could literally do that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Um, like we could, we should try doing like a bag like this that have like, not carabiners, but kind of like, um, things. And then you can just adjust the strap, like make it longer or, or shorter. So then it can kind of still be like a shoulder little bag if you want. Or you can attach both. You know how some bags have that? Where they have like a crossbody option, but then also like a, a shoulder handle option? So it's kind of like this. We could do that. Because it's like mini enough to be a shoulder bag, but then also 
Do you know what I mean? Uh, I stopped doing my Duolingo. I got an email saying, how do you... How do you spell quitter in Italian? Damn! That's evil Duolingo. That is pure evil. Um, or we can do one that doesn't have it where it's just like one full-on strap. Um, hmm. Okay, okay. And then do we do it crochet or do we feel like everyone's doing crochet? You know, do we do a knit bag? But then do we like, do I even like the look of a knit bag? Okay, what is this one? This one's really cool. Like we can do one that goes like Kitchener's, no, Kitchener stitch. But something that goes kind of like flat like this. I feel like that's more fanny. Ooh. <sighs> Okay, I don't like how this woman is staring at me. Do you see this? She looks very upset, but I like the bag. Oh, I haven't saved. Okay. Crochet bag would be easier. Yeah. Crochet bags are fun. I know. I posted on my, uh, on my Instagram about a, my raffia bag, and I love that one. Um... Or like, look at this one. Like she just has it where it clips in to the side of her belt. Like I love that. Just bought yarn for a knit felted bag this morning. Yes. Okay, do I have the saved? I already do. They already know, I just love all these things. Hmm. But then I don't wanna just do another crochet bag. Just finished a crochet bag, okay. Like look at how funny this is. I guess I say fanny pack just because I like the look of, I like the look of fanny packs that go around you like this. Those are the ones I wear the most. So if I can figure out how to do like an adjustable side, adjustable side, adjustable strap, I feel like that would be, um, I hate to say, but iconic. Thank you. Knit bag for the challenge of it all. <laughs> Um, I'm late, but I'm here. I love seeing the market lace style fanny pack. I've been seeing so far. So cute. Um, hi everyone. What are you doing? I am brainstorming what type of fanny pack-esque medium sized crossbody slash shoulder bag we can make. So I'm kind of lots of debating guys. I'm so sorry. Whoa. Love those big straps. Um, but I'm just trying to think of stuff that's like in my style, but also something that's like really wearable. I don't want anything that like is too out there that I feel like I won't wear at all. Or like this is also where you just knit the bag and then get some rope and we could do this. Also, I really like fanny pack bags. Okay. Do D rings to make it adjustable. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just do like a long strap. Um, oh, look at that chain. That's cool. But I, I like it when they add like all this. Ooh, I like this. This is so cute, but it's a little too small. I feel like I just would not wear this ever. It just seems a little impractical, but I also, I don't know if I wear that either. Hmm. I'm gonna have to find more. Oh, oh my gosh. Or like this. Where there's like handles, I guess you can't put that over your shoulder, but I guess you can hold it in your hand and I like that idea. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, like it's like you have a small handle here, but then you also have a really big handle. Oh my gosh, this one, do you see this? It has a little pocket. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Machine cannot make this, oh I love that. Oh, I like this, hey it's a free pattern. Guys, this is a free pattern from Hobby if you want to use it. Um, I'm gonna save. Nope, this one's already saved. Oh my god, McDonald's! Okay, not like um, maybe a bucket bag, but maybe one that like zips. So maybe not a bucket bag. <laughs> maybe not a bag bucket bag at all. Whoa, that's cool. That's too big though. Extra handles plus little pocket. <gasps> Iconic. That'd be one intense bag though. Um, we'll see. We'll see how ambitious I am. Lining? The lining could have the pocket, yeah. For sure, we'll try to do a lining, um, 
yeah so then again i don't want to I, I don't want to get too complicated with it i think getting too oh i like this bag um i feel like if we do it a little too intense then i will be stressed out <laughs> trying to get this out trying to see if there's like like i like sorry can you say like a little bit more tiffany um like the Mew Mew little bag i think we can maybe aim for something that looks like that because see this option i like that there's a zipper i like you could probably add a pocket if you really really needed um wait that one bag handle looks like it could hold a water bottle <laughs> um i missed the beginning of the stream is this for the cow yes this is going to be for the next cow that is going to happen every thursday um this is just the first thing that we can work on so i'm thinking if we could aim to do something like this because it kind of is giving what i wanted for the shoulder bag but then also you have the option to make it across body with maybe adjustable straps question is do we do because I like I don't know I just like the bag and the zipper I don't know it just seems uh, and then we just make a we just make it like a long strap but then also option for a small strap because I have that like I essentially have a fanny pack that does the exact same thing and it would just go like crossbody kind of thing um interesting this is truly a fanny pack would we do this maybe this this looks ambitious oh this one's nice too oh i love this though ah Okay, maybe I'll aim for more something like this, but that looks... Ooh, oh, this one's nice too! Uh, maybe I'll do this, but have it... Scraps. Like the Mew Mew one. Okay, I think we're getting more into the fanny pack section. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I need this for inspiration. Oh, this one's cool too. I feel like at that point this has to be crochet i just can't envision a knit doing this effectively as well as oh yeah i've seen a, i've seen a creator that had a fanny pack that was boucle i just don't think i could ever do boucle oh Shein, how could you um hmm. oh my god i love this we could do this. Oh, again, Sheehan, come on. What is up? That wave skirt is cool. Okay, I'm really into these ones. Fanny pack would be best crocheted. I know, I just feel like it would be really sturdy as well. Oh, wow, this one's pretty too. I do think a lining would be ultimate. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh no. Okay, that's going in the yellow section. Lily Kate, her boulevard bag also used zip ties to add structure. What yarn weight are you gonna use? That is a great question. Oh my God, a, a circle one. Oh my God, that'd be iconic. But I, would I wear that? Tiffany, would I really wear that? Um, maybe like the crochet Bottega Veneta bag. The one that kind of looks like a bub bubble stitch. Okay, let's look at that. Because like, this is like looking a little too pink. I'm thinking I need something. Uh, Bottega Veneta. How do I look this up? Bag. <laughs> Love test knitting. I've signed up for over 15 test knits in total this year. Haven't gotten a single one. Oh no. 
Oh, imagine. I still want to make a bag that looks like this. I'm still trying. I'll, let, I'll update you when we get there. Um, do they have like a shoulder? Is this it? Oh my gosh. Isn't that just brioche? T don't make me do another brioche, guys. Um, oh, wait. They have a crochet Bottega banana bag. Okay, wait. Crochet. <clears throat> I bought five hanks of Normadar sake in Berlin, but I have no idea what to make with it. Should I pair it with mohair? For sure, pair it with mohair. Oh, I like these clutches. Is that Bottega Veneta? Is this the bubble? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, looks like crochet for the body, maybe knit for the border. Um, for yarn weight. Oh, this one's cute too. Um, for yarn weight. I think we might do... Are any of these Bottega Veneta? Sorry, I can't even tell. I only know their signature bag. Um, I'm thinking probably like a DK. I think would be sufficient. Um, crochet knit stitch? Is that a thing? Oh, crochet knit stitch! Yes! Oh, I do know what that is. Um, we could do that. Okay, I can't... I don't think any of these are Bottega um dk or sport yeah for sure not fingering weight 100 percent not fingering weight so anything between like a dk sport you could probably get away with an Aaron weight it just depends on like how thicky you want it let me look up crossbody maybe that'll give me a little bit more inspo oh yeah i think like this we could probably do this not the woven, but it's the shape. I'm thinking the shape, that would be good. If we did this shape, it's kind of giving the shape of the other thing we were looking at. That would be great. And then have adjustable straps. Yes. Okay. A crochet Bottega Jody. Okay, I'm going to look up Jody. Because, again, I don't know all these bag names. Oh, that one's iconic. I want to do that. That's what I'm trying to do with my black. Crochet, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Eventually, it's like never. Uh, it's the purple shoulder bag with cotton blend, I think. Purple shoulder bag with cotton blend. No idea. These just look like bags to me, unfortunately. This one looks nice. I'm liking the shape of that. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Madara, you can knit... Someone's using that to knit the Trezo cardigan. You could also do cardigan number eight. You can do like any sweater really. Um, with the mohair, I think it would be lovely. Basket weave is cool. We could try <gasps> basket weave color work. Um, Cause I've seen knit versions of people doing it. Um, lots of people do it for Noro things. Um, this is not helpful. Okay, basket. No, what is it called? It's not basket weave. It's um, uh, it's like, do you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like the squares that are diagonal kind of thing, and they change color every time. That's crazy though. Entree lac. What is that? Is that what it is? A blah blah blah. Cry. Um. Maybe basket weave knit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like that. But someone's done it just like this. Ooh, imagine if we did this. <gasps> imagine if we did this on a bag. If we did this in color work. Okay, okay. I'll look up. Okay, wait. I love this scarf. I hope that you guys can see, like, my brainstorming process is absolutely um everywhere oh uh, yes 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 you, you see the color but i don't know if it's too singular color each way or if like every square could be different oh my gosh look at that interesting i feel like i don't want to do it diagonal i think i liked but like this is kind of giving is oh okay is it like this do I want this though? For a bag. I think we're getting a little crazy up in here. 
Whoa, the crochet version is nice, though. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, this, I feel like would look nice. I get the vibe. <laughs> um... Hmm. Don't know if I like diagonal. I do like this. What is this? Yeah, I like basket weave knit. I'm trying to think if this is something I would like on a color work. Okay, maybe I can find stuff on Ravelry. Entrelac crochet is nice. Okay. Oh, I, there's no way I'm saying this right. Entrelac patterns. Maybe someone's like already done one, and I'm just tooting this out of my own horn. Oh, there. Okay, someone's made like a bag like this, which is very similar. You second the Entrelac. Okay, it's quite like out of my comfort zone, though. I will say. Strict Cafe has an ultra lock sweater and a card cardigan pattern. Yeah, I think she does. Strict Cafe. Just YOLO it. I guess that, okay. What happened to Strict Cafe? What? That's not what I meant. That's what I meant. <clears throat> I guess the point is to YOLO it. Trying to stitch like Entrelac on a smaller accessory like a bag would be a good way to practice. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yes. So she does a basket weave. I like, I think I like basket weave. I think I'm liking it a little bit more. She really monopolized on this, guys. She really was like, this is my pattern. <laughs> and she put it on everything. And I mean, look at that. Ev she, girl, she put it on everything. That's hilarious. Okay, well, then it's like, that's kind of annoying. Because if I want to make something like this, everyone's going to be like, it looks exactly like this. And I'm going to be like, thanks. She just took an entire stitch pattern. I think this, like, one color, this one color on a bag would look really good basket weave she doesn't own the stitch i know but like if you make so many of those things i think subconsciously people will automatically think of her stuff sometimes screw the stitch pattern police i know i think i just get in my head i'm like oh okay but this is a very common pattern that i think oh oh someone made Wow, someone made a very beautiful... Okay, you know what? Okay, yeah. You know what? She does not own that stitch. That's so true. Thank you, everyone. Um, but that one looked so good. I'm trying to see... Uh, inspiration. Wow. Look at that. I'm assuming this is just like you knit three, purl three, and then you alternate kind of thing. Oh, that's going to be a lot of counting. Maybe we should do a swatch. I don't think I can. But I am trying to see if anyone's made like a bag or like a little accessory. Plus, if each square is a different color, it would be completely unique to you. Oh, but then it's not. I'm pretty sure you just knit in the like. <laughs> what am I saying? Like, I haven't seen one that anyone does stripes. Because um, the stripes would just be. How do I say? Like in a line, like it wouldn't be each individual square. I think I saw a YouTube video of them doing a bag with it. Okay. Hmm. I will need to do a swatch to get a vibe. Um, also update my garbages have all been taken out. House is feeling so clean and welcoming. Um, I need a clean too. Don't start that with me. Because I need to do that. Or, 
Or, guys, we do like a marled one. We can do a marled one. Yes, Discord time is essentially now. But I think a marled one would look really good. I think we could try to aim for that. I think that would look so freaking cool. So we'll see. I'll see what I'm feeling. Again, this is a YOLO. This is a yellow piece, so. Oopsie, wrong screen. I feel like you can't see the stitch with the marled. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, but you see this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If you see the striped version of this girl's basket weave, it's just stripes. So, like, do we like this? I mean, I don't mind it, but I would also be the same here. I would only want it if each section were just uh, one color. But I love this one. Look at how cool this is. Whatever she did there, whatever they did there, so good. Maybe my beanie will help you with the marling decision. Um, I don't know. I'm confused. Oh my god, it's a free pattern. That's cool. I just need to see like a bag. If you did marling, it just probs have to be plain with marled stripes. Plain with marled stripes. If you marled, you could change just one thread each stripe. Yeah. Kind of have it like almost a fade. But I also love the look of its singular color. So like maybe what I can do is try to find a scrap yarn that I think is enough yarn. But then also, am I gonna use wool? Uh, okay, okay, people have bags. This is a crochet one. Okay, but we also don't have to do basket weave. I don't know why I was like, yes, we have to do basket weave. Oh, maybe we do basket weave Noro. That would be lovely. I can filter the bags, thank you. But I do wanna see like the different options that everyone else is doing. Okay, sorry, one second. My Discord is, my Discord has to update like crazy. What is happening? Um, you could do a checkered board X basket weave combo. What is that? Hmm. Whoa, someone did it like this. Sorry, that was not helpful. Let me just, like this? Like this is interesting. I don't know if I'd want it though. Okay, so this is a marled. I get what you mean, like you definitely can't see this. A chorizo bag, but then it's not a part of the YOLO. So I'm like, okay. Um. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh my gosh, someone's doing a little scrap. Impulsive, scrappy, bean neat, cast on. Oh my goodness, love. Um, so many different yarns. Oh, you're making me want to use up all my yarns. I need to. <sighs> Ooh. I can't make it to the stream, but here are my whips. Coffee Break Socks by Stone Knits and Valentine Sock. Really want to start some lacy ones with hand-dyed yarn, but I don't have the needle, so it's like a sign that I need to finish one of these first. Oh my gosh, the little coffee. Cute. I love the sock. Love the sock. Like checkerboard color work, but two basket weave stitch instead of socking it. So knit squares in one square and pearl squares in another. Oh, that's so intense. I'd have to do, I would I'd for sure do that. Um, with the entrelac, I think that's how you can do those types of checkerboard, and that makes sense to me. Um, finishing my first color work really soon. Wait a second. Wait, I thought I saw someone finish this already. Am I thinking, of, oh my gosh, were, was two people doing this at the same time? You guys, you guys are actually crazy. Um, but nonetheless, you're so close, and I believe in you. <laughs> Love the heart with the little bandage. Stop. That's so cute. Oh, dude. I feel like everyone 
like everyone's celestes i've seen all give the same energy is that like just a me thing or like everyone chooses like a cream or brown like a dark color maybe like a uh, like an, and a lilac i don't know i feel like i've seen that or like even the greens people use it's giving the same energy but maybe that's just because any any sort of color work um like color choices that you choose for the for this guy for the celeste is just always the same Trizo bag would be epic i have one skin of omitama waiting for something special oh my gosh imagine we do an omitama oh that only uses one skein oh that'd be great i think it's just the vibe of the celeste yeah for sure that's i think that's what it is but i love it um because it it feels like everyone's celeste all match i guess um so like if i see someone celeste i'm like oh we're the same using this time to crochet something to sell so here's my yarn i'm harvesting and i picked up sewing again love oh this yarn i see well that's a funny way to say it harvesting you're harvesting the yarn that is so farming coded uh went to the yarn store and got some yarn did a little frog to join my frog army cute love that it's purple and um bc yarn i've been trying to i, I want to use bc yarn i have a couple but i haven't used all of their stuff Ooh, she's done blocked and has buttons added everything about it is absolutely perfect i'm so glad to be able to share it with all of you oh my freaking goodness are you kidding me it looks so good it looks so good oh my gosh the time and effort that you put into this is absolutely amazing i can't believe you that's so loved that we saw the progress out of, of it all honestly um and and it just looks so lovely oh my gosh so proud of you i could have i would have given up like almost immediately um a lot of celeste had brown with high contrast and cool tones they look amazing they truly do <gasps> finished my first two ply yarn today love uh, your hand spun you get all of them likes um what what yarn did you use amazing i actually bought so i finished dyeing up all my yarns um last night and i i actually have some roving that i bought because i was hoping to dye up some fibers uh, don't know if we're gonna do that don't know if we're gonna do that but this has me inspired because look at all like the the light pinks like you got a little bit of turquoise dark blues i makes me want to dye the hand dyed like immediately <laughs> uh i remember showing you guys the first sleeve and i still can't believe how I've, how far i've come no honestly um resting from wisdom teeth surgery trying to finish the sock uh then going back to my crochet sweater gosh stop it with everyone's like self striping yarn you know i want it so bad oh my gosh another another self striping yarn you people you people know to hurt me because i want to get one really bad um and sometimes i'll see some opal on sale i'll be like hmm hmm but i know i shouldn't Working my second sock in the bamboo pop sock yarn lovely stunning stunning oh my gosh i want to do this type of gusset a little gusset or heels flap i don't know what they're called but i always call them the same things um but i would love to do that for my lace sock oh my gosh i'm too excited um it's not even casted on yet or finished or even thought of working on the terracotta sweater self-drafted sock terracotta in drops flora dra uh, blah, blah, drops brush alpaca and socks in nord oh my gosh how are you liking nord i actually really like nord i don't know why people are like hating on it i think i hated on it for a little bit but it's actually quite nice um i like the green color i like the green that you used and the cream lovely this brushed alpaca moment um i want to eat it up Oh, I love the red. Oh, my, oh, I was going to show you guys the red thing I was looking at, but I shouldn't be casting on anything else. I told myself I wasn't going to cast on anything else. Um, hi, first time posting. Just finished a crochet cardigan. Knit part of the ribbing. Knit part of the ribbing. Ooh, wait, you knitted the ribbing or you crocheted rib? I don't know what I'm saying. Without a pattern. Haven't blocked yet, so she's a little wonky, but so comfy. I ran out of yarn halfway through, so yes, the body and sleeves are different shades. 
Oh, I see what you mean. Like, there's, like, a little fade. Um, but the body and sleeves are different shades, but it's all good. I tried. Dude, it looks great. What the hell? I am not strong enough to make a crocheted cardigan or physical item ever, so that's amazing. And I hope you wear it and love it and that it blocks beautifully. Thank you for posting. Um, speeding through my body of my pe peacock sweater solo by Lynette. Since I've just got out of a knitting slump, still loving the scenes too. Doing a sleeve today for more motivation to keep going. Love. Dude, I was looking at my supplier and they have, um, Koshitsu, um, non-interchangeable needles. And I'm thinking about buying them and putting them on the shop. So if anyone is interested, let me know. But the answer is I'm still probably just going to buy them. <laughs> Finish the back panel on to the front. It's so soft. Ugh. Love the color. This is going to be a slipover. I'm so sorry if you said something like that already. I'm interested. Okay, okay. Um, Norma update. Oh, I love the color still. Love the colors. Uh, people who incorporate red, I feel like it's so fun. Body finished and blocked. Now starting a sleeve. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so cool. Oh. Sorry, I just had like a weird, not like out of body moment, but just like looking at everyone's photos and just like, like a photo can only capture so much, you know, like you don't actually see all the hard work and time that goes into every single piece. It's like, I'm actually looking at a piece of art. I'm so sorry. Am I going to cry? Um, just cause like, again, knitting is so, I don't know, beautiful. Just because, like, I see every stitch. Oh, my God, I'm literally crying. Am I okay? Like, just every stitch. Like, you made every stitch. And I, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I'm, I'm totally okay. Uh, my champagne party is finally done. I went with the, oh, she went with the wood buttons. The black ones are too big. Just posted this pic on my knitting IG. Awesome. Sorry, I'm literally crying. Um, gorgeous nonetheless. I think, I think it works with your style, especially because the belt is brown anyway. So she's so cute. Knit the vertical ribbing, but the bottom and cuffs are slip stitch. Um, crochet, love. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Wear this to death. Please and thank you. <laughs> uh, won't be able to knit on this until like 8 p.m., but had to catch her the... Oh, the chorizo cardigan in the light. Dude, I cannot wait to see your black version. I, like, you guys know I'm obsessed with, like, a chunky folded collar. Like, oh my goodness. Not gonna lie, like, uh, Ethnic Trend Brady showed this to me, but, um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but My Favorite Things Knitwear just came out with a saddle shoulder cardigan, and I don't know why, but everyone's doing this collar, but no one's doing it how I like it, and I just feel like I could do it so much better. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, ah, uh, the emotional support chicken. Thank you for showing me this. That is hilarious. TM. Oh, I love the TM there. Um, I'm not making this, but this is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. I think if I love chickens a little bit more, but I really don't. Um, ooh, finished my bag in normal category. Um, it's crazy to me how much yarn crochet uses up the ball smaller than my cat's head. Damn. No, crochet uses up so much. So maybe that's good to use it for the YOLO series. Um, cause then we can use up a bunch of scrap yarn and love, love everything about it. I also feel like it's good, um, first palette cleanser, two stash busting, three, like if you're just a knitter, it's like a really easy way to get into crocheting and three, it's probably better for your hands to like not always be knitting. So like to bring in crochet a little bit sometimes. Um, but again, who knows? I'll probably not do that. I'll probably just make all, everything I want knit. Um, but I think this is the Wanaka sweater. Second one featuring a Lego flower I made. Love. I actually have Lego flowers, funny enough. Ooh, I love this set. Oh, this is the set you mentioned from Peachy Den. Oh, I didn't know it was a, I thought you I thought it was like another knitwear designer, not like an actual like brand. Um, have you finished the Valentine's Day sock? No, I haven't. We will be working those on the Tuesdays. So we'll talk to you. We'll knit some cute little Valentine's Day socks. Not sure if I'm sending in the right chat. Perfect chat. You sent it completely perfect. Yes. Um, 
I, you know I'm into sets. You know I'm into sets right now. Um, this is probably a little bit too wild for my, wait, is this, oh, this is like their version of it. Oh, I see. You could totally make that 100%. I, you could do it. Easy peasy. I don't have time. Is this hand knit? It looks like they hand knit it. Is it? Anyway, beautiful nonetheless. Um, ah, oh, finish the pillow. Oh my god, I love the edges. How did you do that? Did you just like knit stockinette and then fold over and then add like a cord in between? Or maybe that's too ambitious. Um, and the start of a bolster pillowcase. Nice. That must be a great stash buster. Oh my goodness. Um, hi, finally have time to just knit freely. No gifts. Nice. No deadlines. Even nicer. Yarn is by Laurel Knits and a souvenir from Love Yarn Madrid. There you go. We love... I want to make this sock. Can you tell me if this sock is worth it? I mean, I'm probably not going to make it. Um, because I think every... They, like, the way that it moves, you have to um, cable it. And I, I'm not about that cable life. So... We'd love that for you. Finally finished the second sleeve of my champagne cardi uh, recently. Working on the second one right now. Love. Stocking it, then crafting the live stitches. Lovely. Okay, we love that. <clears throat> Why is my voice getting lower? Okay. Uh, but a black champagne cardigan? Staple. Absolutely a need. A need in the wardrobe. I still have yet to make the oversized cardigan that I've been trying to make. I just have... Oh, this face. I just have no time. Um, about to start the toe. It looks like I'll have enough for the toe. But it'll be a game of yarn chicken for sure. Oh my gosh, this little thing? That's hilarious. The socks are not cabled. Really easy and intuitive. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. You're going to want to make me do it. Um, I do have more yarn on the natural color, so I'll be fine. We'll need to cake it up, though. Okay, okay. Oh, I think you mean this. I think this is the yarn chicken. Yes? I don't know. I could be unclear. Everybody has the red um, chugos. I've been seeing a lot of those in the pictures. You guys, I'm not doing it, but you're making me want to do it. I'm liking it. Wiring a sensor. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm finishing up the socket out of the sleeve of my porcelain. Um, love the porcelain, love the sensor. Um, that's wild. That's so wild. I feel like, do you have to be careful with the fibers? I just feel like fibers would go everywhere, but nonetheless, gorgeous, gorgeous. We love both of those. Ooh, more drawing. Buzzy B craft, please teach me how to draw hands. <laughs> love, love that dress. Oh my gosh, to knit that, crazy. The wiring is killing me. <laughs> No, we'll be playing yarn chicken with the toe. Like the white part. Is that, I'm assuming, I'm assuming. Now you need to do it. You have the book, you know, I know. I know I have the book. I'll think about it. We don't have time. I wanna make my pattern patterns. It's just such a huge struggle of my life. Um, it's all good. Uh, ooh, okay, knitting. High knee socks for myself in endometriosis colors since it's endometriosis aware month month i always like to make the legs of both socks and then the rest and my cat always sleeps with her mouth open oh cute i don't know why every time you said knee high socks i always thought that you meant thigh high so i was just imagining you knitting socks that go up to your thigh but knee high makes a lot more sense um it's the vivid oh wait vivian westwood dress it's knit not crochet though oh my gosh i should look up old like old runway um looks to see if there are any like really beautiful knits that i would be interested in recreating uh the red bro looks weird on this picture but i swear she's cute also i'm breaking my head what oh no with my basic baby tee like like you can't go over your head, please, please just undo. Just undo it and just do it on a bigger needle size. You can't, you can't, because I do that all the time. It's the biggest struggle. 
Um, a hack that I have learned if you have makeup on already and you don't want to get makeup on your clothes, put your hair over your face and then put, and then put the thing over. I do that all the time and it saves me every single time. Um, my BF recently bought a 3D printer. I'm trying not to buy the, <laughs> the EEW Nano. I'd have an excuse to use the 3D printer. Oh, to make, you could make so many, um, people have seen, I've seen people make a really nice, what are they called? Not cones. The things that you keep the yarns in. I'm still so silly. Um, you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I could have just made that up. Um, but you'd make a ton of those. Knitting on a slightly neglected terracotta. Honestly, understandable. Uh, it's a lot of work. That looks like a lot of work, but I'm glad that you're back on it. Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm uh, I'm breaking my brain to the construction. Bobbins. Thank you, everyone. Yes, it is bobbins. You can make really cute bobbins, I've seen. Um, another thing you can do with 3D printing is make uh, sock blockers. I've seen people do that. It looks really cool. Um... Yeah, I do that too, okay. <laughs> um, the collar is not too tight, it's kind of working. Okay, that's awesome. Hi everyone, happy Thursday, happy Thursday, Kylie. Um, okay, very off topic, but I just got distracted by how shiny your hair is when you put it over your face. <laughs> um, I washed it two days ago, but thank you so much. Um, I've been really, oh my gosh, I've been getting so into like Asian skincare, uh, AKA like, um, Korean and Japanese specifically. Um, uh, just, I've been seeing a lot of viral stuff and we just, we've recently gotten some Tokyo beauties, um, like around Vancouver. So I bought like a bunch of stuff and I bought, um, it's like called Fino hair mask. I actually really like it. Um, so Maybe that's why, because I used it the other day. That could be a reason why the hair is shiny, but I'm not too sure. Uh, October sweater is finally done, just in time for fall in Australia. Nice. Love the brown. I need more brown, but I always feel like I can't style it. Me wearing a brown sweater right now. Thank you. Um, 3D printed handles for a knit clutch. <laughs> oh, that'd be so intense. Uh, slowly working on a poppy tea. Lovely. Lol, I thought that was a rosary. Um, that's hilarious. Uh, but we love, we love a cobalt. You, you can't show me cobalt and not expect me to love it. Uh, working on a sweater vest. First time following a pattern. Nice. Can't believe I, like, I guess it's totally understandable that people are doing bottom up. I don't know why I'm always like, why would anyone do that? But that's how I started knitting. And, um, it's nice <laughs> it's nice yeah i feel like i do like the look of the decreases better that way so it's great um a chocolate brown sweater with some nice blue jeans would be so cute they would be and i don't know why i'm like i i i don't know how to style things she's finished she's gorgeous she's amazing i saw this savannah on your uh instagram it's so good so 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 good so, 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 so good. How do I like this? No one has liked this. You get all my hearts. Um, love the color choice. Love the dedication. I feel like you showed it when it was first swatched. And now we're here. And I don't even know how that was possible. Um, ooh, love letter tank top slowly growing. That is crazy. That's just so much lace. Like I've been trying... I've been reading my lace, I have like a book of all these stitches and I've been trying to learn like lace and I wanna get better at it and I wanna start incorporating it in some patterns, but AKA socks, but um, I'm a little scared, but it shouldn't be scary. This one is also freaking cool with the freaking poo. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like trying to figure out how this was even possible, how you even did this. Uh, you. It had to have been knit from the center, working out. You're doing increases, but then you're also doing color work. It's so cool. Wait, there's two sections. No, it's Tunisian crochet. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, crochet cowl. That's really cool. Obsessed with Hado Labo lotion. Wait, is that what I have? Because I may have bought it. I also bought this other, like, um, 
I don't know if, does anyone have TNTs? I've talked about this, I've talked about TNT before, um, but they just came out with MetaHeal toner pads. I don't know if anyone has seen that uh, around like the Asian skincare TikTok of it all, but I saw it and it was on sale, so I bought it and it is so good. Like my skin was like breaking out like crazy because I had a little, what's it called? Like it was before my period, so we were a little, we were a little breaking out there, and it was so good. Yes, 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 yes. The Hada Lobo Labo. It's a toner. I thought it was um like a serum. But anyway, I have that one too. <laughs> um. Saw the same Sashiko book you had in the store today, and almost bought it, but I really can't be picking up another crafting hobby for sure. Um, totally understandable. I'll let you know if I get into it. I was also looking at like cross stitch embroidery like not not like a picture but like on napkins or like table sets i love the look of those so um what am i saying we'll see what i get to i guess is what i'm saying um but i'll let you know because then that i feel like that would also be a really good stash buster for me as well uh to use sashiko because i love the way it looks um only worked a little on my lingering November jacket in Drops Air. Oh my gosh, Drops Air is a great choice. That's really cool. Looks really comfy and fuzzy and lovely. Have you seen the Meta Heal toner pads? Dude, dude, that's what I was saying. Yes. Wait, I literally said that. Yeah. I, I just bought some at TNT. It was on sale. Go do her. She's lovely. Um, she's like made my skin all like, I don't know. Like they say glass skin. Um, but I actually, it actually... She did wonders to my skin. Um, and I don't think I can ever go back. Um, unpopular, opin uh, unpopular opinion, but I like bottom up seeming and knitting flat. I mean, if you like it, you do it. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with that. Um, everyone can do their own things. And I think it's also quite easy to like, like if you, if, sorry, what am I trying to say? If there's something that's bottom up, I, We'll try to finesse it so it's top down and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um tunisian crochet is pricey or are you talking about something else um brioche in the round is painfully so i agree but like once you start doing it a lot because i've been knitting my hat that brioche hat oh that's still got work on but i have to frog it um, once you start doing it enough, it's not too bad. Um, also thought I'd add a pick of my Celeste. My mom's been knitting the body for me because I got tired of stocking it. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, love that your mom can do that for you. Um, and I hope she's okay with it. I hope it's not too much work for her. Um, but looks great. Photo's a little dark, so I can't see the colors, but nonetheless, great. Love it. Um, and we're done with the stream chat. Thank you everyone for, thank you everyone for posting and letting me see all your beautiful uh, pieces of art and um yeah i'm so lucky to even get to see a little part of that of your lives um i wish they had a tea tree version because metaheal tea tree masks are my holy grail wait girl they have tea tree versions wait they have a green version wait there are diff there are different intensity levels of the head low Labo. The one I have is quite light and more of a first step toner. I see. Okay, okay. No, they have a green. They have a green one. It was on sale. If you have a, if you have a TNT. I don't know if you do. But if you do, they were on sale. Um, five inches of the sleeves have taken me well over five hours. If that Celeste is in black and white and gray, I would die. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, but also, this is a marled. This is a marl basket weave. What are we feeling? I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know what I decide. I need to make a little swatch first. Should we do that now? I don't have any yarn. I did not come prepared. Hmm. Basket weave. I say if marled, no pattern. Mmm. If we do marled, then we do stockinette or like a single crochet. 
And if we do like a single color, then I would do basket weave. If we're doing stripes, then I think too much going on. If it's yellow, wouldn't it be marled? It could be marled or it could be striped. So like, I think with the Yolo series, it doesn't have to be like exactly like the Yolo Clava. So the Yolo Clava is like you hold one strand of a base color and then scraps on the other. But I think with the Yolo, it's just using up your scraps. It doesn't have to be anything. I'll just do whatever I'm feeling kind of yellow. Uh, what about two color double knit basket weave? So you can do, I don't, the issue is I don't want to do checkerboard colors for a like a like a like a medium sized bag. Um, this is knitting. The, the basket weave is a type of knitting um, pattern. So, okay, I'm gonna bring a couple bags, not bags. I guess they are bags of some of my scraps and we'll see maybe we'll swatch some stuff oh gosh that's funny mm -hmm. Like a base color we come back to all the time oh this is gonna be a tough choice to make um okay let's go with a big needle i want something that's maybe like a six right because we're thinking sport or dk okay these are five and a half i can get away with five and a halves We'll just knit something. We'll just YOLO. Today's a YOLO day anyway. Oh, wouldn't that be iconic if we sewed one? Like we made a weave. But then the issue is, is like not everyone can do that. So I don't want to be, that's not what the YOLO is. Um, I ordered a small loom today, so I wanted to try and weave stuff for my final BA project. Is this a bad idea? Why would it be a bad idea? It sounds freaking cool. Okay, so we have some grays. I'm feeling like we want to do something light. Oh, I have this granny square. Oh, I was going to try to make something with this, but I never got the chance. I think I need to unravel these. Too sure I'm in love with them. I could also unravel this and make something. Um, <laughs> yellow, yellow. <laughs> okay. We also have more colorful stuff. The question is, is do we hold these together to make marled, or do we do? So these are, I think these are merino cottons. So I feel a little bit better about having that in a on a bag and then what i could do is mix some of my minis so like for example i have this mini you see that? it's like a pinky you cannot see that it's like a pinky that we can mix with like some of these guys maybe some of these guys would be funny So many scraps in here. Ooh, this purple's also really pretty. I could like weave in. I have some. I have some. Holskarn. Marled, always fun in my opinion. I'm thinking marled too. I'm thinking we go a little fun with the marled here. Um. Ugh, 
sorry, that took me a little long. But I have this, I have this uh, holst garn that we can like mix in with like maybe like a base like this. Kind of fundies it around. I'm gonna weigh some stuff. So like a bag, if it's like the size of a hat, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, say a hat is 400, so that's, I would say 400 grams. Okay, so this is 30 grams. 63, this guy, 35. Okay, so I do have some Alaska that we could try as well. Oh my goodness, I also have, oh my God. Look, my, my Noro Kakigori is bigger than the other girls. <laughs> I could probably incorporate that in. 62 grams. That would be iconic. It would be absolutely iconic. Actually, in after this, it was gonna go with, oh, this is gonna have to watch back. What did you decide on making? We are making a little medium-sized crossbody bag. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do marled kind of stripy marled I would say because I don't know if I were gonna like keep everything a singular one tone and then I'm probably gonna do stock in it I can't imagine myself doing anything else but I'm excited to use up something from this maybe we use some of this I have some cute little some of this we're vibing I have some green maybe that's a little bit out there um, that's Currently, oh, I have more of this gray. Should we just keep it one gray? We should keep one gray. Maybe that's what we'll do. Cause I think I have enough. Or do we do this? Oh, do we save this for something else? But what would I save this for? It's 130. Maybe that's perfect. I don't know. Save just in case. I just feel like I could use this for a different, like maybe a bigger, like a bigger, oops, like a, sorry, what am I trying to say? A bigger YOLO. Looks like enough for an accessory. Okay, maybe I will, a colorful marled on gray would be cool and different. Colorful marl on gray. But then the issue is, is that this, I like the marled look. Like a base. We do a base marled. So this is like going to be the same color. And then we're going to mixy matchy all these other things. Gray yarn looks like what I crochet my sweater. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we'll, we'll just YOLO. I just need to keep just saying YOLO. And maybe we'll just start YOLOing stuff. Okay. So. thinking let's start off with this guy so i would say this is like me almost picking up like two fingering weight yarns Ooh, but this is held double what is this about okay yeah i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two. Oh, imagine this in brown oh my god that would be really nice oh no that'd be so nice oh god do I even have enough? The gray will mute the other colors. That's what I'm feeling. Like we have a neutral base and then we um, liven it up with a bunch of other mauled stuff. So this is just a swatch. I'm not actually gonna start this. Or we do the base. No, I don't know. Okay, let me just move everything over so we can see me knitting it oh my god i love it already you see that this is too small maybe we'll go a little bit bigger okay And I think, yeah, this would be enough for an accessory. And then we could easily do like 
um, the shoulder strap as well. Side note, but do you guys have every needle size and cord or set or just buy as you go? I'm trying to get into knitting, but low-key overwhelming. Um, totally overwhelming. I totally get it. Um, I would say just buy the needles that you need when you're beginning. That's kind of how I did it. You kind of buy as you go and you can always like test out different needles to see which ones you like. I never recommend buying a full set until you figure out exactly which needles you like uh, and what brand and what you want to invest in. Uh, and then, then I would say go for it. Uh, that's what I did initially and then I um, decided to get a set. And then I decided to get a shorty set. So it's really up to you. Just buy as you go. I'd suggest maybe getting into interchangeable set if you can, when you get more into it. Yeah. Like if you're just getting into it and you don't really know a lot, don't, don't buy a set. Sets are expensive. And especially if you don't know if you're going to be knitting for a long time, not worth the investment. Also, don't, don't we love how all this yarn is like keeping the, me, my hands and the screen company. Um... I was painting my nails during the stream and now I'm done. We'd love that for you. Um, I have a set, but I've been knitting for three and a, three to four years, but buy as you go is definitely the way to go, yeah. Okay. How are we feeling about that? I can't tell. Really can't see none of that. It is showing a lot of the pink, I would say. Um, but let me change colors to see. Maybe I'll switch to the khaki gory. Um, thank you for the advice, guys. I needed it bad. Uh-huh. Dude, honestly, understandable. I think knitting can be super overwhelming um, and doesn't feel like there's a lot of guide as to what to do. I mean, nonetheless, you can do whatever you want, buy whatever you want, but I think it's always nice to have, like, tips. I'm trying to figure out what model together next for this beanie. I want it as ugly as possible. Yeah, I don't know if I should be trying to make this really obnoxious or muted. I don't know. I think I, I enjoy the look of a muted look. But then I also don't know if this knit, like, I don't know if knit is strong enough. So you know how Petit Knit, she, for all of her bags, she's always doing either a uh, like a like a like a different stitch you know what I mean brown we go brown okay do I have brown here wait I want to do blue first let me just bring in the blue for a sec let's see how she goes and then we'll go brown that would be fun oops I'm afraid, like, oopsie, I did that wrong. Barma will give Noro vibes. Interesting. Why can't I find the center pole? Okay, no center pole it is. Oh no, the center pole's right here. That's fine, we'll not do, we'll not do center pole. The ultimate scrap project would you make a lining with scraps of something else like old t-shirts oh that's that would be crazy i mean i usually do that anyway though a lot of my lining is just scrap bed sheets that i use just because i'm not like i'm not gonna go out and spend a ton of money on like lining uh but Like, I, I guess I'm, like, torn because I don't know if I want this to be, like, abrasive, like, the different mold, or if I want it to be different, or not different, abrasive, like, different colors, or if I want it more muted and, uh, I guess calm would be the word. Uh, also, I would like to update my cleaning spree. I cleaned my bathtub. Oh my god. You are truly doing everything today. I also like the look of Marled when it's um, like a garter stitch. 
I don't know, maybe we do garter stitch? Like, I want something that's sturdy, but I don't think stocking it is sturdy enough. Oof, maybe we should do crochet. I'm torn, guys, I'm torn. Which one would you guys rather see, crochet or knit? Should I pull? Should I pull, or are we just gonna... We're just gonna do knit. Oh, like, this would just be a really nice outfit. Like, I don't know if this would be nice on a bag. Do you know what I mean? I feel like garter might stretch after a while. Yeah, so I'm feeling like we need to get, like, a knit stitch that would, like, hold really well. Okay, I'm gonna put the khaki gory now, because I'm kind of feeling it. Crochet? People want crochet? Okay, well, I'm just testing out this just to see, because I'm curious. Um... But I do think a crochet bag would be better. Double knit would be sturdier. Linen stitch could also. We could also do a linen stitch, but I hate doing linen stitch. It's like my least favorite thing. It's just, it just gets like way too tight. Maybe a seed. I can see a seed or moss. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if that would look good with the marled. I feel like bags, bags look good as a solid color. It allows the texture and structure to shine. Okay, but this is a YOLO pattern. So the YOLO is, is that we're trying to use up all our scraps. And that's the fun of it all. Um, but also, like, if you have a scrap that's a single color, that's also great. Um, or a slip stitch rib. True. I think moss stitch would look cool marled. Okay, let me, I'll do it on the next one. I have patridge bag. I don't know what that means. What is that? What does that mean? <sighs> moss stitch would be nice. Okay, for the next ones, we'll do moss stitch and we'll see what happens. The heel design. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I just can't like visually in my mind think of it, but I do think I know what you're saying. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll think about it. I'll have to look at the pattern again and then we'll think about it. What is all this yarn doing? I'm leaving by. Okay. Um, started thinking of heel texture since heels are made to be stronger. Very true. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, you can't even see it. Is that a bag we want? I'm just trying to think if this if this is a bag I will legitimately wear. Do you know what I mean? Okay, now we're gonna do marled, which is or not marled, sorry. We're doing moss stitch now, which is just knit pearl, knit pearl, and then alternate. Or I guess keep the same if you're going back and forth. Okay, and now all my yarn is tangled because I didn't cut any of them, but we're not cutting anything because this is just... Oh my gosh, what have I done? Sorry, I'm just gonna try to unravel this immediately. The color is really nice so far, thank you. I feel like it's nice for like a sweater though, or like maybe not necessarily like an accessory. Because I do want to go for those really colorful ones, but I don't know. I guess I don't know how I'm feeling for, like, a, um, a bag. Double moss. I do like double moss. We'll try single moss first. We'll do single moss on this and the khaki gory and see how it goes. Uh, I just did pearls. This is knit. Mom, um, do you tip? I just realized you're wearing a hand knit sweater, not your typical sweatshirt. <laughs> Thanks. That's hilarious. Um, 
yeah, I didn't wear one to sleep. So then I got cold this morning and I just like, I think it's really helpful for me to put all my knits that I've been wearing recently out so I can see them and just pick it up because it's really hard to um, like go underneath my bed, unzip the container and like have to go through all the pieces. So just like whatever is um, on display, I find that I pick up more. Um, you're so fast, I'm jealous. No, no, no. Your girl is slow, so slow, slow right now. It is tough. Um, make a typical sweatshirt pattern, honestly. With joggers, it needs to be done. But will I wear that to sleep? Probably not. Okay, are we seeing this moss stitch, everyone? How are we feeling? I guess I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, which one would I... Ugh. I've been keeping all my pieces in a pile in a random basket. Love that. I mean, if you pick them up and you wear them, then I guess that's what works. Um, speed comes with time, don't worry about it, for sure. Knit more first, maybe an inch for two, yeah. But as of right now, I don't know how I'm loving it. I think the gray is just kind of too meh. <laughs> it's too meh. We're thinking, like, I guess, yeah. Like, when you're thinking yellow and, like, all the inspiration that I showed before, I can see how this is just meh. Oh, I just remembered Daylight Savings. Yeah, Daylight Savings. Just for America. Oh, that's so true. So... On Sunday, it will be, I think, the time will be one up an hour. So the time might be a little bit different from for you guys in Europe. Just so you know. So next week, the stream time is going to be different for anyone who isn't observing the time zone difference, for sure. Hmm, how do I feel about this? Throw a bright one in there. I don't really have a lot of bright, do I? I do, actually. Okay, let's do a green. I'm doing an abrasive green. Okay, this is the last color work. I like that it's not too bright. I know, I think it's just like personal preference. It's like whichever one you're vibing with more. Yellow doesn't have to be bright. Yeah, I feel that. I just wanna make sure it's something I'll wear, so I think I, I, I need to test out everything as I go and also like this is mine so like yours would be different it's all just based off of personal preference for sure um, but I like I like the discussion I like hearing what everyone's feeling um, hyped for daylight savings I think if you're going to do rectangular shape the fabric needs to be straight enough to hold its shape Okay, I think you're more likely to wear the duller one. You tend not to wear bright things. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. <sighs> but then sometimes I like a nice pop of color. You know, we've been liking a little pop of color sometimes. It's really about when and where, I guess. Okay, so this is marled, but we could also do striped. The gray helps mellow out the green, though. It's working well. You see that? Okay. Don't know if I'm a fan of this, though. The moss stitch? I don't know. Are we feeling the moss? Like, I can't... I wouldn't say it's sturdier. Okay. Yeah, I'm just having trouble envisioning it because the current colors. Uh, but I know they're changeable, but I vote stripes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe kind of bind off. What kind of bind off should I do for socks? I'm, I'm a basic bind off girl. Uh, maybe compare with a crochet, crochet swatch. We could crochet swatch this. Okay. 
So this is currently what we're vibing. I'm torn. I do like stocking it better. I do like that better. We could do this for something else. You know, I could do this for something else easily, so. <sighs> this is why I'm going out all with the beanie, because why not go, go all out for an accessory? Okay. Not feeling the moss either, yeah. That's so funny. Imagine me just like making something. Everyone's like, we don't like this. And I'm like, oh God. I think the pearls, I didn't like the pearls, how it like was coming off. See the model would work if you did a bandana. Hmm. I feel that. Or like if we were doing, oh, this one would be good for like the stock, like the color work. The color work, what should we call it? The color work bandana that I was looking at would be really nice. Marled kerchief. <laughs> um, cute for spring. Very true. But the issue is, is that if I were to do a bandana, I'm feeling like it would be a fingering weight. I feel like anything that's like DK, it's a little thick. So it, it would most probably be striped. Oof, I'm torn. I'm torn on what to do, guys. I think it makes more sense to do stripes. I don't know why, but I think I was feeling the stripes before, so we should just do it. But then marled. Oh, gosh. Yeah, bandana needs good drape. Hmm. For sure. Okay, what is happening here? Check out the Lily bandana. Mohair and beads. Trust your soul. Thank you, everyone. I know. I think we have to feel it out. I'm going to have to do a couple swatches here and there. I'll have to let you know by Thursday. But I think by Thursday, we'll still just be swatching. I'll still just be vibing. Uh, I'll let you know when we come up with a pattern and put it on the Patreon. So... I think that's ultimately fine. Crochet stripes for, for the bag. Marled crochet stitches for a bag. So both. My objective was to finish my Oswald hat before the stream, but I still have eight rows, so I won't make it all. Uh, that's okay. It isn't something you want to rush fully. Yeah. I know. It's like a YOLO, but it's also like, I'm going to make this as pretty as I can. Um, but I think I'll end the stream a little early. It's only like three minutes, but it's totally chill. We're kind of... I'm not going to start another project while you guys are still here. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or push the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post next. Um, yeah, so that's what these Thursdays are going to be. We're just going to work on Cal stuff and hopefully um, finish this guy. This guy's a little ambitious, I would say. We probably should have started off with the scrunchie, but um nonetheless uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a, a good rest of your day good rest of your weekend and i will see you guys um next time but also if you're not doing the time zone daylight savings the time might be a little bit different for you guys it might be like i think it, it could be like 12 or it could be two depending on where you are um i'll see you guys in the next one bye